Hello everyone and welcome to Georgia Aquarium Education's Deep Sea Learning Series. My name is Coral and today we're going to learn about alligators. The topic today will cover the KESS2, 1LS12, and 3LS1 standards from the Next Generation National Science Standards. If you visited Georgia Aquarium recently, you might have noticed some of our toothy new additions. These are our American alligators. The American alligator is the largest reptile in North America. Grown adults can reach anywhere from 13 to 14.3 feet in length. Their diet includes everything from small fish, small mammals, crustaceans, even turtles. Their jaws are strong enough to crush the shells of even some of the stronger turtles. Alligators belong to a group of animals known as reptiles. Reptiles have scaly skin, cold blood, and generally lay eggs. Other examples of reptiles include snakes, lizards, turtles, and crocodilians, like our American alligators here. American alligators occur in the southwestern United States and are found primarily in freshwater habitats such as lakes, ponds, and marshes, where they actually have a very important ecological role. You might wonder, what's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? Well, if you look at the skulls of both of these animals, a crocodile tends to have a longer, narrower jaw, whereas the alligator has a wider, broader snout. Another difference between crocodiles and alligators are the teeth on their lower jaw. When an alligator closes its mouth, the teeth on the lower jaw tend to be hidden by the upper jaw. On a crocodile, the teeth kind of stick out every which way and are not hidden when the animal closes its mouth. The skin of the alligator is covered in hard, horny scales called scutes. They offer protection for the alligator. You may know that mother alligators are well known for being very protective of their young. After mating, the female alligator builds an elevated mound of mud near the bank of a pond, lake, or marsh. She lays about 60 or 70 eggs into this elevated nest, and she takes care of the eggs and her hatchlings for about a year after they hatch. Sometimes she even carries them on her back. When the eggs first hatch, the mother alligator gently picks them up one by one and brings them into the water. Now, just like sea turtles, the gender of baby alligators is determined by the temperature inside the nest. However, opposite of sea turtles, in the case of the alligator, the warmer eggs tend to produce more males, while the cooler eggs tend to produce more females. In their natural habitat, especially in the Everglades in Florida, alligators are considered to be a keystone species. The reason for this is because they produce what are called alligator holes. Alligator holes are these depressions that alligators form in muddy banks, in marshes and lakes, uh, that fill with water and provide habitat for other freshwater animals. Therefore, they have a very important role in the ecosystem in which they live. American alligators are thought to live anywhere from 30 to 50 years in the wild, but can live anywhere from 60 to 80 years in human care. American alligators were once hunted to near extinction in the southeastern United States. They were mainly hunted for their skin and their meat. However, in the 1960s, laws and conservation efforts worked together to help bring the alligator back from the brink of extinction. Since then, the recovery of this species has been remarkable, with current estimates of its wild populations in the millions. Now, let's see how much you know about alligators. If you go online to our alligator fact sheet, which is included with this video, you can take a quiz on how much you know about alligators. What is the myth versus what is fact? Take the quiz, you can see how your score held up against other people who have taken the quiz. There's even a way that you can take this quiz and test your knowledge against your friends and family. Good luck. This concludes our deep sea learning about alligators. For my Georgia locals out there, the standards we covered were SKL1 and 2, S2L1, and S3L2. I hope you enjoyed learning about alligators. Please tune in next time to Deep Sea Learning at Georgia Aquarium Education. See you later, alligator.